I'm not doing the walking thing today and that. I'm not doing the Casey Neistat look. I have to kind of call it the Casey Neistat look because my, I, it was inspired by Casey Neistat. Do you know what I mean? So I had to jack his style. Oh, cheeky! So I came across an advert yesterday um, about ancestry. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you haven't, it's basically an advert where parents go to their kids' school and they take the ancestry like DNA test and stuff to sort of find out their origins of like their heritage. And I found it really interesting because in some of the cases, some of the people that, that found out their results found out that they had like 18 up to 18 different ethnic groups found within their DNA. 18. Wow, <laughs> that's a shock. <laughs> and it was crazy, like, to sort of first see the man's reaction because he started crying. There was one guy, he was like, I am straight. I am straight British. I'm by and large British all the way through. And some of them were like, you're 42% German, even though he thought he was full British. There was another one who, 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 who said he was from the uh, south of France and found out that he was like sort of 36% British and all this kind of stuff. Daddy, you're 42% British. <laughs> And for me, like, I found it really interesting, like, to the point where I, I really want to do it. I really want to find out, you know, if there are any other ethnic groups within my DNA. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of where I come from and all that kind of stuff. I'm British, do you know what I mean? But I'm part Jamaican and I only found out five years ago that I'm also part Nigerian. That was crazy enough within itself because there was this whole other side to my heritage that not to say that I didn't have any idea about, but I never had a reason to sort of delve deeper into it and stuff. Where I grew up, do you know what I mean, or where I was brought into this world, like, I never knew my biological father until like five years ago. I found out that I've got family in Jamaica, I've got family in America, I've got family in um, Amsterdam and stuff. I've got, I found out that even some of these family members that I have never met in my entire life, I didn't even know that I was related to them. They do a lot of music stuff as well. I know I've got an uncle who lives in Miami who like runs a record label. And it was inspiring to see the guy that was like, that had like 18 different, different ethnic groups turn around and say that he felt like he was a true citizen of the world. I've only ever once before experienced somebody with 18 different ethnic groups. It makes me feel like a citizen of the world. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do the ancestry like DNA test thing. I think, I think you know, I might, I might do it and I might actually video it, do you know what I mean? I might actually record it and put it up on the channel because it'll be interesting to see the results. And with that, we're going to get into today's motivational positive quote. And today's motivational quote is, it seems impossible until it's done by the big man Nelson Mandela and it's interesting to wake up to that quote especially after having an emergency appointment with the doctors and getting the right sort of medications to actually help me out with my back issues and then after seeing that advert and then relating it to a lot of other things do you know what I mean like especially in terms of where I see myself within the next few years. Most things do seem impossible until it's done. 20 years, years ago, if someone would have told me that I would grow up to, you know, be heavily involved in music, to have the opportunity to meet a lot of artists that I've never met before, that I, that I really sort of look up to, to meet some of my idols, to be able to play and perform on big stages, to be able to, perform with big artists. I would have told you that's impossible. Do you know what I mean? Especially, especially being the color skin that I am. You know, not to make it into a race thing, but it, that was part of my growing up. Do you know what I mean? I, I sort of thought that things were gonna be incredibly hard for a person like me. A lot of times 
growing up and going through life you're told that you know you're not going to be able to do this you're never you're never going to succeed at that a lot of times things are made out to be impossible until it's done recently i've been thinking about because of the position that i'm in i've been thinking about really making a crack at this music thing really putting a lot of time and a lot of effort turning something that was an extreme hobby into something that is going to sustain me in some way in the future. 20 years ago, if someone would have said that that's something that I could do, I would have told them it's impossible. But, you know, over the years, it's something that I've, I've made a point of ignoring. You know, in, in, in a lot of my music, I make the point of, of stating that the sky isn't the limit, the sky is infinite. You know, I, I, I've I made a song called, I've made two songs relating to being in space, being boundless, weightless in ways, you know. I've made a point of not believing that society is, 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 is completely and utterly against, against me. I mean against the working class that there is no way that I can I can achieve anything that I want to achieve I, I only have to look out at certain figures like say Martin Luther King like Malcolm X like people like Michael Jackson like people like you know Stephen Fry um, even Elon Musk do you know what I mean like people like them who who are constantly told that you're not going to be able to do this, you're not going to be able to do that. It's more, it's more or less impossible. And time and time again, it's been shown, do you know what I mean, that, that we can achieve. If we really put our minds to something, we can achieve anything that we set out to do. So I, I definitely love that quote. I think it's something that's, that's going to be another quote that's going to be incorporated into you know my daily life it's something that i'm glad i'm reminded of on a regular basis you know even though there's a lot of times where the world can just make you feel like things are impossible i won't say that there has been times where i thought no i can't do that i completely can't do that i'm not going to bother but you have to find ways around that you have to find ways of getting over that mental mountain so with that Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Take it easy and blessings to you all. Baby girl.